From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Polk County deputies arresting a Winter Haven man for threatening members of Congress. Investigators say that James Patrick said he would kill lawmakers and their families if they did not confirm Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Senators today getting to review the FBI's latest investigation into Kavanaugh for the very first time. A procedural vote on his nomination is scheduled for Friday, and that could lead to a final vote as early as Saturday. Tampa police now joining a statewide initiative to keep you safe on the road. They will be increasing patrols on Tampa's roadways to teach you about traffic laws, especially those that affect pedestrians and bicyclists. Police say the campaign will run through next May. In other news, more than six and a half million pounds of raw beef products have been recalled over salmonella concerns. So far, 57 people have gotten sick. We have a full list of the affected products on abcactionnews.com recalls. Also, Bush Gardens is launching an all new pass program ahead of the park's 60th anniversary next year. For a limited time, introductory prices start as low as $9.99 a month for people who live here in Florida. And Bush Gardens is also bringing back free beer. You'll get two complimentary beer samples included in park admission. Now here's Dennis with your forecast. Den. Hey doing everybody. Temperatures for highs on Friday back in the lower 90s. Tied a record on Thursday at 92. Morning lows were comfortable though. Most of us in the 70s, even some 60s in our northern counties and highs will be about 90 to 92 across the entire area on Friday. The tropics, we are keeping our eyes on an area down in the Caribbean. Pretty decent chance over the next five days that could start to develop as it moves into the Gulf. Way too early to tell whether it's going to turn into something or becomes a threat to Florida, but it is something we'll have to keep our eyes on. All right, thanks, Dennis, and we can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device, and don't forget to download your free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow. Because safety doesn't happen by accident.